very much thankful to all the coordinators and the institute for giving me an opportunity in this crisis in the world through online uh, platform thank you very much uh, thank you very much siddharth sir uh, sir we have some questions from the participants please so, uh, okay sir the question is uh explain from the basics in the next session include the brief about the grid integration and what about the frequency mismatch so sir can okay, you sure. say something about the frequency mismatch uh, usually what happens as far as frequency mismatch is concerned this thing could be highly pronounced for the wind integrations but in case of small frequency mismatch what happens the inverter works at the constant frequency or the band of the frequency because regulatory board in india we are having 49.5 to 50.5 so say for example if there is a central inverter where the frequency will be depending upon the inverter switching frequency but the pv is not working so at that time to maintain the frequency certain amount of power has been shedded shedded in terms of the generator and the frequency has been matched now when we are talking about the frequency mismatch in that case we should study in detail about a three phase grid integration because in single phase grid integration we are having a inverter which is smart and hybrid in nature so if your frequency will mismatch it will disconnect the uh, source from the system and our solar home will be enlightened with the convectional grid automatically due to the capability of the inverter Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. So, uh, another question is uh, that the query is there any related value of heat absorb of solar panel, like maybe also damage in related. very high heat absorption sometimes or not? It it happens usually due to the uh, means unawareness of not cleaning the modules frequently, due to the bird droppings. due to the improper placement of the cell due to the constant shedding on the photovoltaic module it might be happen but people are recommended to clean the module at least once in a day say for example i'll take one practical aspect one company known as sukam it's a inverter company they are start manufacturing the modules and with my students mm. we have installed one power plant at one of the rooftop so they recommended that why we are doing same because people are calling because they are not cleaning the modules and inverter is not working obviously inverter will work on the specific voltage window if the voltage will go down obviously the inverter mm. will not work in technical language in power electronics language we can call it as a dc link voltage okay and sir last question is the uh what is the effect of panel angle on efficiency of panel per degree okay uh there are different values of the angle it is known as beta that is tilt angle usually what we have discussed in that uh, slide is we are oriented towards south because we are in the northern hemisphere but the tilt angle is always equals to angle of latitude however some degree of freedom is given for small power plant otherwise the angle is fixed that is angle of latitude however in certain locations if degree of freedom will not be taken we will go for mechanical maximum power point tracking so your panel will rotate uh, panel will oscillate like a sunflower okay. so it is always oriented towards the uh, sun's okay. direction okay uh, sir one or two more questions are there will you allow please please yes yes sir so the question is what is difference between radiative and night time pv okay in case of uh, radiative pv usually during night time what happens this uh, rs and rsh it will take the power from the grid because it's a bulky material so at night time there is a protection simple diode is there so during day time in the radiative pv we are having only 0.7 volt drop loss voltage drop loss due to that diode but during night time that blocking diode it acts as a block 
because it acts as a reverse bias due to a reverse power flow of the current. Oh. So the material has tendency to face the current from the grid and it will block that. <coughs> and uh, sir, last question is, the government yes, is plan planning to install solar power plant in Ladakh. So will yes. it be efficient as temperature in concern? Yes, it is. It is I means in Ladakh particularly the temperature variation is very low, and that what advantages we will take because as we have taken theoretically only in this case the main impact on the voltage is due to temperature. So in Ladakh the temperature variation is less compared to what we are facing in Gujarat. So we are in the era of the constant voltage system. So if we can maintain that voltage then the output is awesome in our case. In addition to that, right now we are having two main modules that is polycrystalline and monocrystalline. People are also harnessing from the silicon amorphous. In that case, they will reduce the short circuit current and increasing the open circuit voltage, keeping power output constant. So in such situation like Ladakh, where the radiation is also have a big issue at that time, we are having the less change in the short circuit current because the overall value of the current is very less. So we can harness the uh, effective power output from the installed PV. And we are having a one megawatt power plant next to our institute. And we are having that one megawatt peak power capacity. We are not getting one megawatt every day. Every day. It is depending Correct. upon the climatic conditions. And install capacity. It's sir, an installed capacity peak power. Please, yes, sir. sir. Yes, sir. Are solar panels affected due to heavy rain from anywhere? Yes, due to reduction in radiation, there is slight change in the short circuit current. We have taken a case study of the Gujarat High Court. In the month of June, the top floor air conditions are working from the installed PV capacity. So okay. it is also depending upon the loading condition at that time. Thank you very much, sir, for our you. valuable guidance. Now Thank I request you. Ravindra, sir, for the vote of thanks of the sir. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, it was very info uh, informative session. I hope this uh, webinar will help to our students. And uh, thank you very much for giving your valuable time with us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir, for very micro knowledge regarding PV module as well as uh, uh, load calculation and very interactive session. Thank you very much to our uh, alumni student. Uh, for inter making this session interactive, question answer. Okay. Thank okay, you, sir. sir. Uh, Thank you, sir. Goodbye and good evening. Okay. Goodbye, good evening. Good Thank day. you very much. Okay.